This video is made possible by the partners and supporters of ICZC Ministry. There are two things that I believe are so important for us in the end time to understand. And the first thing is the unity of Gentile believers with the upcoming miracle of God with Israel. Most Christians have in their head two trees. One is called Israel, and they, many of them, believe that God has a plan with Israel, but they believe they are part of the bride. So there's two entities that in a way don't meet and don't become one. This is entirely against what the scriptures, especially Paul in the epistle of Romans, tells us. And this will be like a revelation to you. I feel it. The word Christian is only used in the New Testament, three times, two times in the mouth of an unbeliever. Agrippa says to Paul, you nearly make me a Christian. In Antioch it says, and they were called Christians. But look, Paul, who wrote to the Gentile believers, never called them Christians. He said, you are the seed of Abraham because of your faith in the Lord Jesus. How many of us really believe, as Gentiles, that we have been grafted in to the tree and commonwealth of Israel and have become completely children of Abraham by our faith in the Lord? Is that not what the Lord said in John 10? When he spoke to his own people, the Jews, and said... I have other sheep, speaking of us, the Gentile believers, that are not yet from this flock, the flock of Israel. And I have to bring them too, and the two shall become one flock. The Bible knows only one tree, one flock, one body to which we the Gentile believers in Israel become one flock. And I want to show you what Paul says, because the key word, when Paul describes this unity in one tree, not two trees, the church and Israel, as most Christians have the two tree theology or understanding. Paul speaks, and that's the key word, not of a tree being taken away, and then another tree, the church coming instead of that, like the Roman Catholic and historic churches have taught, Israel rejected the Lord, and therefore the Lord has rejected Israel, and instead of that came the church, and then the evangelical and we believers, the charismatics, they say, yes, but in the end, the bride is going to be taken, and then God will do something with Israel, which is not even what the historic churches believe. Why is this wrong? Why is this not according to the Bible? The Bible speaks only of one tree in Romans 11. And what does it say? When Jesus, the Messiah, came to Israel, it never says that all Israel rejected him. There were 3,000 Jews who accepted him. They stayed on their tree. Later we read in Acts 5,000 Jews we're real believers. What an unrighteous thing from the Lord to take them out of their tree. They said, we did accept you. 
Later, maybe there were 7,000, like there were the 7,000 true Jews in the Old Testament days of Elijah. So, the tree was never replaced by another tree, the, the church. What the Bible says, and that's the key word, branches were taken off. The unbelievable, unbelieving Jews, not the whole tree, the word is branches that Paul is, and the branches were put aside and became broken off. And the Jews have gone through all of the world in a way has broken off branches. But the true believing Jew stayed. The 5,000 Jews on the day of, uh, after the day of Pentecost stayed in that tree. And what does the Bible say? That that wonderful, I want to show you. Instead of the broken of branches, God took from the wild olive tree, from which we Gentile believers come, we were without God and hope in the world, Paul says, as Gentiles. We didn't know the God of Israel. And God in his mercy took us from our wild olive tree, not in a new tree called the Bride of Christ or Christianity, but in the tree of Israel. <coughs> so we are grafted into the tree of Israel. And when the full number of Gentiles have become the seed of Abraham, true Jews or Israelites of God in the tree of Israel, what does the Bible say? That when the full number of Gentiles have been grafted in, God will return to the fallen hut of David, the broken of branches that have gone 2,000 years, scattered all over the Gentiles. He will woo them back to the land of Israel and breathe upon them. And Paul says, then they all Israel will be saved and come back not on a new tree called Christianity, but on their own tree, where we, as Gentile believers, are already grafted in. And in that tree, there is no more difference between Jew or Gentile. We are not second-class citizens in the tree of Israel or the olive tree or in the commonwealth of Israel. There is one flock, one tree, and one commonwealth of Israel in the New Testament. And in that tree, there is no more difference between a Gentile or a Jewish believer. And all Israel will be saved. When? After the full number of Gentiles have come in and it has taken 2,000 years for that to happen. May you be part of it. Cleanse your ways in life so that you will not fail at this hour to become part of the most wonderful thing that God is going to do. It's one of my favorite verses in Romans. When the diminishing of Israel, their scatteredness, has become the blessing for the Gentiles, what shall the fullness of Israel not be? In other words, when there were only 120 Jews on the day of Pentecost who received the Holy Spirit, but most of Israel did not accept the Lord, and that caused you and me to become the seed of Abraham, saved, forgiven, cleansed. What shall not happen to us when the glory comes back to Israel and we will be as seed of Abraham together with our Israel, 
will be one body for the Lord. To see him come back to this sad and corrupt world. May you be part of that.